Uh, I think just being patient um, and also with patience, you know, hard work in the background. Like I said, I started off as a number two here, um, but I had to bide my time and I had to work hard. Um, you can't kick stones when you're in that position and yeah, as cliche as it sounds, just to continue to work hard and in the last 18 months, it's, yeah, it's the most I've ever achieved in my career and it's, yeah, for me, it's just put down to hard work. In front of the fans as well, it's unbelievable. Um, what timing as well, I think. The lockdown started a week after um, we won that, so yeah, unbelievable. But you've got to put the hard yards in um, what we did last pre-season and we've got the rewards now and, you know, we've got to back that up. Um, but now we've got to work twice as hard because, you know, once you've got a taste for it, you want more of it. So, yeah, it starts now and, you know, you reap the rewards later. I think once the third goal went in, 2-1 um, is never, it's, you know, even though we're dominant, you know, all it takes is one, one counter attack or one silly decision or silly mistake that can cost and you never know, you go extra time and then penalties and that's 50-50. So yeah, once Scotty scored, that was, yeah, the icing on the cake and even the celebration, I think I was running around like a wild turkey. Yeah, just sum that up. So yeah, once that went in, didn't relax, but you know, you know, you had two hands on the trophy. I got in from the change room um, after we lifted the trophy and then I had a message from Arnie um, saying that he's going to give me a call tomorrow with some more good news. So yeah, I kind of put two and two together. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. Um, that week in itself was amazing, you know, the, the premiership and then, you know, obviously getting caught up to the Olympics, you know, that's a week that I'll never forget. So yeah, unbelievable. It probably didn't sink in more till I got back um, after and you're in your quarantine watching the Olympics and you got to pinch yourself to say like, you know, I was actually there. I think when you're there, you get caught up in the moment a little bit, but you know, what an honour. Um, you know, not many people can say they're Olympians and as a good saying, once an Olympian, always an Olympian. So yeah, to be part of that is um, amazing and yeah, one that I will never forget. Have you got yourself an Olympic rings tattoo yet? No, nah, not yet. I, don't, I know a couple of boys have. Um, I won't name names, but yeah, not, not yet. Unbelievable, um, probably the two best nights of my life. Yeah, unbelievable and it's two nights that I'll never ever forget. Um, even the Premiership, the Premier Plate, sorry, um, Betty Mariners and you know, the drama at the end there and then you know, that getting overruled and, and winning that the way it was was unbelievable. And yeah, to do it with the fans there just made it 10 times better. And you know, they're, the, they're part of us as well. Um, they get us over the line and you know, those two games they definitely did. So yeah, without them, you know, it's, it's not the same. It's to build on from last year. Um, like I said before, you got a taste for it and now you want more. Um, you know, those two things behind you, you know, I want another one of those. So yeah, it starts now with the hard work and you know, just to keep pushing um, to better myself as a human and as a goalkeeper. So yeah, just to take my game to the next level and that's, yeah, that's what I plan to do.